welcome to another episode of Austria, where, guys, I am going to be doing my usual thing. Still trying to find that one nation, though. <laughs> it sounds really stupid, I know, but, like, I still don't... I still can't find it, and yes... You know, I could make... I could make, if it really does come to it, I could make the little city-state of Tlaist. Because Tlaist doesn't really provide me with much as a city, except I just realized that's why I built my port, and I don't want to give up Tlaist now. <laughs> Because that's actually now important. Okay, Montenegro. Montenegro is really just going to encompass KOTOR. KOTOR. Do I have anything important in KOTOR? KOTOR, KOTOR, KOTOR. It should be something like right over here. KOTOR. Uh, not really. It's mainly just a fishing village, so there wouldn't be anything lost there. And really, I, I don't really... Yeah, if, if I really want to, I'd free KOTOR. Because there's really not much else. Yeah, you just... You have to find little tiny vassals that really aren't going to really matter in the long scheme of things. Like, Kotor is such a small vassal, I don't believe they're ever going to be able to thing. And there's Persia! <laughs> so, and I also could free a gigantic vassal too, but I'm trying to think of my little tiny vassals to go through first before I start, like, going through my big ones. So, let's go to Montenegro. I think Montenegro is a really good vassal to free because it's so tiny. So, let's go right there. There we go, and now we only have 9.8 infamy. A sem- What? Somebody- Uh, Italy- It's only because of prestige I'm letting it pass. Okay, but as soon as- I'm sending my troops over there to the land, to basically have my soldiers all ready for this. I mean, I could win this war without your help, but- I'd preferably love to have the Germans on my side, so we could just destroy- the uh, Italians. Plus, I want to free more of these states. Let's see. Uh, free trade. Sure, why not? Doesn't really matter what we do at this point. And let's see. Put down taxes just by a little bit. Because I love. I'm a dictator that loves. Oh, wait, no. Put it back up. <laughs> I love to keep about 2,000 in my uh, reserves. I mean, I don't love any more than that, but 2,000 is about good. And let's see, Yugoslavia is having so many problems right now. Now that they lost a war, they're now starting to become mighty militaristic, which usually does happen about this time, because now we're getting into, like, the Great War eras, and, like, everyone becomes, like, crazily, like, militaristic. So it's no surprise. Um, we also have to be paying attention slightly to where all my troops spawn in that region, because they will spawn and it will become annoying. We also have Iraq, which does have a lot of cores over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably going to cause a lot of difficulty for our good friends, the Ottoman Empire, which I don't mind, really. And we also have some troops probably make, being made over here somewhere. We have to think of all these things at once, because that's what Empire does. Have my troops just crushing on the border. We will encourage the Jindoist! When do we not encourage Jindoism? I really want to know. When do we not encourage Jindoism? Like, I seriously swear, our pastime in our country is jindoism. We have no, nothing else to believe in. Also, let's go put our soldiers right over there. Because I'm basically, actually right over here, because I'm probably going to crush through everything. Let's see, absolutely not. 20% fascist. Yeah, let's not prevent the organization from recruiting on barracks guns. Yeah, really, I don't like the idea that the fascists are going to come in and destroy me. I don't like that idea. Oh, shoot. Ukraine, can you deal with that, or do I have to come in and come help you? Yes! Run! Run, all you little rebels! Run back to Russia! Oh my goodness, they're all crossing the border to Russia! Yay! Go to Russia, all you men! Don't stay in my land! <laughs> yes! Good! Don't stay in my vassal's land, either. He's very really good. Like, he has no reason to be at... To be at, uh... Uh... Insults. He's actually a good vassal. So, yeah. <laughs> the Boxer Rebellion! Oh no! The Chinese did something that tried to improve their country, but didn't quite work! Oh no, I am so mad! Assimilation party- Ah! Keep just- keep assimilating. Assimilate everyone and make coffee. That's our motto. Assimilation and coffee. And new stores and Trent. Alright, come on! China, break up already! I warned you guys to break up like 20 mi like 20 episodes ago. You guys still have it, which annoys me. But yeah, I love that. Like, all the, like, all the rebels just, like, spawned and went away. That is hilarious. That is just hilarious. I didn't even have to do anything. They were just like, 
Nope, we don't like this. Okay, it seems like there's some kind of minorities, limited minorities rights. Uh, we did. We actually don't have that. What? We did. We didn't give him any rights. Oh gosh, I'm a terrible leader. Okay. Um. Seriously, yeah, give give them some rights. Wow, I, I, I I'm frankly quite shocked. Quite shocked at myself. I didn't believe I was that terrible of a dictator. And it seems like I'm making a lot of money for some reason. Probably because I have laissez-faire in, in mind. So that means I make a lot of money. But I really don't need that much money. I mean, really, at this point in the game, 4000 is about good. 31% taxes. That's insanely good, but my army is not being well-fitted, which is annoying because I don't have that much of an army to begin with. So, yeah, by the way, what are our national modifiers? Okay, encouraging bureaucrats no longer needs to be refilled here. Let's see. Where do I need to encourage bureaucrats? Hmm. Speaking of which, how's the bureaucratic nodes down here? Can we make this a state yet? Ooh, we can almost make this a state! Oh! Oh my goodness, we actually might convert one of these provinces before before the end of the game. That is exciting. Right there, that that probably made my day. Okay, but let's... Let's get these little tiny lands, like, right about here to, like, try to become us. It's very unlikely, but at least we'll try. We'll, no one can say we didn't try. Famine strikes! We must aid the starving! That does not sound like a ruthless dictator to me, but... Um, it's more for economic reasons, the reason why I'm helping them, because if, if they don't... If they don't... If them if my people are not well, then they die, and that means I lose money, and I lose production, so... It's good to keep your people healthy in the long, in the long run. Okay, let's see. Let's give it a wait. We're almost ready to start our big conquest of another, of another uh, friend of ours of Italia. Finally, gonna break Italy into two parts. Probably the southern Italy and northern Italy. I mean, I know they won't be called that, but we'll secretly call them northern and southern Italy, kind of symbolizing what we think of like as the northern and southern, northern southern Korea. Transfer of provinces happened exactly when I just got a new technology. That is awesome. And as far as I can see, Ukraine isn't quite ready for the full implications of a real world war, but Germany looks like it's ready, so let's go check this out. Italy, time for you guys to die. Liberate countries, two Sicilies. Let's see. Germany, if you guys don't join in, if Germany does not join in, I'm pretty sure I could fight this war all by myself. It just makes my life a lot easier. Oh, the Germans did not join in this time. Yeah. Alright. Ban the book or let them read a the book, why not? So they did not join in this time, which means I do should I do I do should probably no, I should probably get that alliance back as soon as possible. Um but in the meantime, let's go crush let's go crush all these guys. I mean, let's let's go get let's go get uh our good friends. Oh wait. You guys. Hey, hey. You guys, no, don't do that. You guys go down there, you guys go right there. And yeah, that should be able to cover a lot of the front. Um, and let's see, are, there, are we all at war against... Yeah, okay, wow, that is a... Seems like overkill I'm doing right now in destroying the uh, Italians, but... Really, people, they deserved it. You guys have known this for years, they have deserved all their fate. For all the years they caused me trouble, this is finally my payback. This is finally all the payback I deserve. Let's see, do they have gas attack capabilities yet? They should have gas attack capabilities by now, I mean. My advantage should not be this. Oh, <laughs> Sweden just got out of the war. Like, wow, Sweden, that was like a completely... <laughs> oh my gosh, Sweden, you are terrible at this whole neutrality thing. You declare war and then you're like, uh, herp -a -derp. no, we're not actually going to fight because we're neutral. What? You just left your, your friend to die, basically. Oh gosh, Sweden. If I could, vi if I had the opportunity right now, I would so violate that that uh neutrality thing because you are so not neutral, and you should so be taken down a peg. Okay, I'm gonna go actually go send some of my other armies to go help in this invasion. Not because I really need to, but just because it makes things a lot quicker, like a lot quicker. So. Yeah, it seems like they're going to be invading this. They're not really going to be able to crush through any of my army. I just need to make sure I take down this part of their army 
the, this part of the country pretty quickly. Uh, my vassals should be sending in troops a reasonable amount of weight. I mean, I'm assuming Ukraine's probably going to be the most over-enthusiastic and most jinderistic right now because they have absolutely... This is going to be the first war, and it's so cute to see our first vassal war. Like, it's so cute. Can't wait to see all our troops. Um, I am slightly worried about the troops in the back. I can't really move up any of my soldiers. Uh, let's see. Let's go get these guys onto these boats. Let's see. Where do we have dominance over the seas? As far as I can see, we have dominance over the seas. So I'm going to go loot these guys back over here. There we go. I'm just casually conquering all this land. Like, casually. Uh, where can, my vassals are probably going to casually crush all these guys. I'm probably going to need to go send in a more powerful army to go crush that 61 stack, though. But as soon as I do send that in, then they're probably going to go and get into all the holes in my army. So, what I believe I'm going to do so I don't have holes in my army, is I'm going to go send you guys over here. Once these guys fin- No! Don't you dare do that. Make sure none of you guys are on Hunt Rebels. Once you guys are done, I'm going to go send you guys to Milan. Basically do a kind of counter front right there. And you guys are going into the battle over there. And I have a 70. Holy shoot, I have a lot of people. And why did you guys just charge into... The Italians are really stupid. They, they just charge into my army, which is a terrible idea. Because I may be... I may be having problems sometimes. Okay, you guys, go back. Go back. Go back. Make sure they do not conquer Milan. Yeah, keep that gap not open. A colonial weariness. Who's, who the heck do you think you are? We don't have colonial weariness in my country. Okay, and as you guys can see, all my people are just going to crush through the Italians. Uh, even the Spanish are joining this. Oh gosh, Spain. Oh gosh, they actually need some help. Um, yeah, this is a point where Spain becomes an annoying, vas annoying vassal to have. And I keep calling them vassals. I know there's spheres of influence, but for some reason I keep calling them vassals. This is what they kind of act like. And I kind of do believe in some sense that they are vassals so we're just gonna crush through wow you guys are really seriously not giving up on that battle I'm just gonna help destroy whatever hope you guys had of winning that right there um we could probably go send our troops right there and that still doesn't open up any holes in our army yeah I mean it Italy's gonna try their best Italy's always gonna try their best but in reality they're gonna get crushed by all three fronts I'm just not going to give up, and I'm more powerful than they are by a lot. Have my new army over here, also down here, my e Ethiopian army. I'm going to name that Ethiopian army. So, Ethiopian army. There we go. I'm not sure if I spelled Ethiopian right, but yes, go down and let's go destroy everything. Show that Ethiopian pride. Okay. Now that I have two armies, I'm probably going to... You guys giving up? No. Oh, you guys think you guys are going to get out of this without without losing anything? Yeah, no. That doesn't happen in the real world. Okay, um... Let's see. So let's just keep them right there. Good. Have these guys go right there. Let's go see. You guys go crush the rest of these Italians. You guys go over here, go crush these Italians. And let's see. You guys go right here. Actually, we could probably retreat a little bit. Uh, the Spanish are coming in with their own forces. From that side so we probably don't need to worry too much on this side but I don't know I still want to go crush them and then right here we have a couple of stragglers running off I don't like the stragglers they kind of annoy me but they're just stragglers that's all they are so let's go try that you guys go down here yeah and I basically won the war <laughs> welcome everyone to the war uh, you guys are really not gonna give me what I want are you Wow, we have, whoa, America, you guys really occupied the heck out of these guys. And oh my goodness, what the heck happened to my countries? Huh. Um. Yeah, so, apparently entire revolutions are starting to spring up all over my countries over here, which I wasn't paying attention to. So... That probably means I'm probably going to have to leave this all up to my men to probably deal with, but, because I'm going to probably going to have, I'm probably going to have to go and fight that. 
because honestly having these guys all in my sphere has greatly and immensely helped me in the past and having them not in my sphere would probably hurt, harm me a lot more so yeah we're definitely gonna go have to conquer back all this especially I don't get how like there's 186 brigades Unless Italy really, man, Italy, you guys are just, you guys are going to be jerks. You guys don't want to just give up, even though you know you're beaten. Okay, yeah, it seems like there's like a second war going to be going on, and that's the war to try to save my vassals before they all die. Um, didn't expect a war like this. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to work really quickly, because I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to save uh, Bulgaria, because I think they're already too long too far gone, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to save uh, Roman Romania because they're already in my, they're not just a sphere of mine, they're also a vassal of mine. Uh, Belli, end of the Arabian Revolt, excellent news! Uh, yes, thank you, fine, thank you, good job, good job men, everyone, retreat, everyone, go towards the Bulgarian land, we must protect Bulgaria, everyone to Bulgaria, okay. An ally with the two Sicilies, so now Italy is officially divided into two different powers. Um, that should greatly weaken them right now. Greatly strengthen me, by the way, because I have more people. Across the Antarctica? Of course! What would our nation be without great adventures like that? Um, shoot. Uh, that one I'm probably not going to be able to save. Uh, inform Bulgaria. Uh... Prestige, I like prestige. Okay, let's see. Bakery. Oh gosh dang, I can't help with anything except destroy factories. Wow. Well, you know what? If laissez faire works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. How many capitalists do we have in our country? 84,000. It might work. Okay, but hurry, men! Hurry! Run! Run like the wind! Okay, Ukraine, yes. I don't know why you didn't. I don't know why we were not allies there for a second. Okay, Germany. Germany, we still buddies? Yes, we're still buddies with Germany. Good. So now we got our big battleful buddy back. And we completely destroyed Italy. Like, I'm pretty sure we just divided the country into two different parts. And now we're gonna go crush. We're gonna go try to crush all these rebels over here. Gosh, if my troops move fast enough, we could probably do this. Uh, dismantle nation. Uh, I, I can't say no. <laughs> Basically. Um, but I'm pretty sure we still have a truce with them. Yes, until 1813. Uh, yeah, we have a truce with them until 1813, so I can't really do much about it. Okay, men, go! Go! Save! Save! Save them! I have 101 men just, like, sitting there, like... Oh, and the, yeah, those, the British were the first ones to be there. Rebels and the ally! Uh... Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of going to press our claim. Yeah. Oh, I can make a puppet out of Bulgaria now? Oh, sweet. Hey, Bulgaria. Hey. Oh. Okay, well, apparently they became communists too. Also, let's go send a 140 death stack to go try to go stop the uh, onslaught over here. I, I don't know what's wrong with the entire... With this entire... Um, in my entire countries. It was doing great just like a second ago, like we were all high-fiving each other in a war, but now all of a sudden we have like... Oh my goodness, this is like... We shall do what we can. Yes, integrate our rail system, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is gonna be a big battle, guys. We have literally 140 rebels versus... Okay, you guys, keep going this way. I mean, Romania could probably stop this if we had enough soldiers, but everyone keep going in there. I'll keep an army right over there. Uh, Ukraine, I think Ukraine will be able to handle whatever problems arise over there. Uh, Persia, I'm just going to give up on you guys because, really, we just use you as cannon fodder. And let's make more men. Djibouti, keep upgrading. Uh, yeah. And right here, keep upgrading. Just keep upgrading. That's that's our motto. Is just keep upgrading until everything is insanely powerful. We have nothing that is non-powerful. Okay. 
Okay, let's get back to here though. 130. This is going to be the biggest battle we've ever fought. And it strangely is a rebel battle. And I'm going to have to wait until next time for you guys to figure out if we win this or not. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.